Hey there guys and gals, look what I have in my hand. The Zero Lemon 4700 milliamp hour case for the LG G7. Let's take a look. So here's the box out of the shipping package. And let's just open this thing up and take a look at it. And there it is. There is the case itself. So the LG G7 has a 3000 milliamp hour battery and the Zero Lemon case has a 4700 milliamp hour battery giving you 7700 milliamp hours of battery, which is more than enough power to get you through the day, maybe even two days or, or more depending on your usage. Now Zero Lemon claims that this case will not only protect your G7, but it'll give you 40 plus hours of talk time or 20 hours of video time. So we'll have to test that and see if we come right side up on that claim. So that, that'll be in a few days. I'll give you guys an update and show you um, usage statistics. Uh, the case does not allow the use of, an N of NFC, so no tap and pay with it on. Uh, it also cannot charge wirelessly, and it does not support data transfer from your phone to the PC with the USB cable. So if those things are important to you, you either have to take the case off, or if that's gonna be too much of a problem for you, then this might not be the case for you. The case itself is a soft TPU that gives you full drop protection of your device. It has four LED indicators on the bottom. You can't see it now because it's not on. And it has a minimal chin on the bottom of it, keeping the original length of, of your device. So the case measures in at 6.2 inches by uh, 1.2 inches by 0 0.06 inches. And Zero Lemon says that it weighs in at a whopping 3.9 ounces. Uh, now the G7 itself weighs 5.7 ounces, so this will bump your total weight up to about 9.6 ounces or so. So it's about 0.6 pounds more, so that's not so bad. And Zero Lemon has this uh, at suggested retail of $39.99 on their site, so use your internet skills to, uh, to go ahead and figure that one out. So we're going to drop this on the scale and see if we're even close to the weight. And it's coming in at 3.9 ounces. So here is my G7, and you can see I have a case on it. I have a, the Ring K Air case on it, so it's pretty much this exact same size as the phone itself. So we'll pop this thing off of here, and I can show you for reference next to the Zero Lemon case what it looks like size-wise. So here's my case that I had on there, and here's the Zero Lemon. So size-wise, uh, top to bottom, it's virtually the same. There's a slight little bump down the bottom here. Uh, obviously the side is a lot thicker because your battery is in here. Uh, but at the top, compared to a regular case, it's about the same width. Uh, the cutouts are the same and you have full functionality of all your buttons and your fingerprint scanner and such. So let's see for just comparison. So I got six ounces on the G7 itself so now we're gonna go ahead and put this case on here. So what you're gonna do is, first you're gonna ignore the fact that I have a chipped white stone dome glass. Uh, I had it in my pocket and my keys chipped the bottom of the, of the glass. So uh, long story short, there, I'm getting a, a warranty replacement. So, so much for that. So you wanna line up your USB port to your USB charger and just slide it on in and just pop it on around. Now the case itself is not too bad. Uh, it's got a nice little print design on it with some branding on it, and uh, it's a little bit slippery. I thought it was going to be a little textured and a little grippy, but it's not. So it's a little bit on the smooth side, so that might be of a concern. i got to kind of be careful when I'm taking it out of my pocket. And it is significantly thicker than the, just the phone itself, obviously, with the battery on there. Uh, it's got a little bit of a ridge right here near the fingerprint scanner. So getting to the fingerprint scanner, you have to kind of bend your finger in just slightly. Uh, but you do have access to your to your buttons, so your rocker your rocker volume up and down is going to work just fine. You can see up and down, uh, your power on and off button works just fine, and of course your Google search button is going to work just fine as well. So that's pretty much that with it on there. Now it doesn't feel too terribly bad. Now in my pocket with this case on here with the thickness i may not want to put anything else in my pocket just because of the actual thickness of it so we're going to go ahead and power this on 
see if there's any juice in it. So the indicator lights are flashing. There's four LEDs on there to show you how much battery's in there, and I've got uh, one lit and one flashing, so I don't have a whole lot of battery in it, but it's enough just to show you. So when you go to turn the device on, you can see that it is, in fact, charging. Can't focus on that so great, but you can see that it is charging with the case on. So, like I said, I'm gonna have to give it a few days and charge it up. Now, the charge time on this, uh, Zero Lemon is saying that the case itself charges in about four hours. So it doesn't have a fast charge to it, but I'm gonna have to charge it up fully and I'll let you know uh, exactly how much time it takes. And then I can take some screenshots of how much battery it shows uh, with the case on and actually charging. And then we'll kind of go and see uh, how much time we actually get out of it. So that, that'll come later on. So that's pretty much it for now. That's the Zero Lemon 4700 milliamp hour battery case for the LG G7. Thanks for watching. All right, so I've been playing around with this case for a few minutes now, and a couple little notes uh, before I end it. Like I said, the uh, the back is very smooth. It's very smooth all around, and it feels quite slippery in the hand. So it would have been nice if these uh, little dot matrix print was actually rubberized or if it was stippled to give you a little bit of a better grip. So I've already had it slip out of my hand once or twice already just playing around with it. So that's one thing that's going to be of a concern is, is the actual smoothness of it and the slip of it. So hopefully that'll change over time and maybe break in. The other thing that I noticed too is how f even and flush the case is. So when the phone's sitting face down, um, like this case here, this has a uh, raised ridges. It's, I know it's hard to see because it's clear, but this case has a raised ridge on it. So when it's laying face down, the, the, the face of the device is not actually touching the surface. Where this one, it's it's actually relatively flat. It's, it's kind of really difficult to see. I don't know if you can see with this case sitting on top of it. Uh, I can put it across this way. I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but this is pretty well flush with the, the, the lip of the case. So there's not a lot of screen protection when you put the put the device face down. It's actually on, on the glass itself. So that, that's something that may be a little bit of a concern too. Uh, again, I, I have a screen protector on. I'm sure most of you do too, especially with the price of the phones nowadays. You're, you're, not many people are running them around naked, but those are all things to consider as well. So just two last little notes. And again, I'm gonna do a little follow-up in a, in a couple of days. I'm gonna go put this thing on the charge now and time it and see how long it takes to charge it. I, I know it's got a little bit of battery in it, but we'll take it from there. Again, guys, thanks for watching.